I'm Neve. I'm Lily. I'm Sophie. Hi, I'm Beth. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm Darcy. Hi, I'm Amelia. When Mr Sanders said that we could have the opportunity to go to Australia, I thought I would grab it with both hands. It's a long way away. It was a good opportunity for travelling and seeing the world and meeting new people. I was actually really keen on hosting a person in Australia and being able to show them a bit of how I live. I think there's a whole wider world out there and it needs exploring and so when I got the opportunity to go to Australia I was like I'm in, I am there. Well I've always wanted to come to England and so giving the opportunity to do that while I was in school like is amazing. Um, I do have very many favourite moments because this whole experience has been amazing and very different for me. Um, but definitely li living at my exchange family's farm um, was a very interesting experience and getting to herd cows every day. Getting nearly lost in LA airport. <laughs> that was a highlight. But we did it, we made it. So, yeah. I mean, I met a kangaroo, that was great. I fed a kangaroo. When the girls were in Australia, we went to Parliament House to watch Question Time. And thanks to Amelia's mum, we were sitting in the speaker's box. So we got a shout out from the speaker in front of all of Parliament and the Prime Minister waved at all of us. Personal favourite, um, I went surfing on my birthday at Bondi Beach, which was incredible. It was so much fun. I'm definitely going to miss the Percy Pigs. I have got in an addiction, um, but I will be bringing many back when I go home. I will also, of course, be missing my friends that I've made here. <laughs> I feel like that was a bad order. <laughs> <laughs> the weather, probably. The, su the sky was blue like every day and there were no clouds. I'm definitely going to miss all the friends that I've made. Um, also, the delicious roast um, meals. Uh, that has been a favourite of mine. The beaches, yeah. We went to the beach, the water was really clear, it was nice. I didn't like the veggie light. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I'm going to miss like everyone that we've met here. The people, the people were very lovely, very chill, laid back. I'm going to miss um, waking up to cows mooing. This exchange program is such an amazing opportunity to build your independence and try something new. Um, at such a young age to be able to fly over the world by yourself is something that you'll never be able to get the opportunity again. I would say just grab it with both hands because that opportunity probably will never come up again. I guess it challenges you in a way that I don't think any other experience could. I've learned a lot about myself um, and it's really great for growing your independence. It's just an amazing opportunity. So it's or like Australia, it's on the other side of the world. I feel like it's just like an opportunity that you're never gonna get again. Like as far as spending so long in another country goes, like this is probably the easiest way to do it. Going all the way to Australia, living there for two months, it was crazy to come back and really go, how? Huh? Well, I like, I did that and I did that myself. It's a very big confidence boost to know that you can do that by yourself. I hope so. I hope so. That I met some amazing people and I just, I really hope to keep in contact with them. Definitely. Uh, I really hope that I can come back and visit all my friends. But also being in the boarding house, I've been able to make friends that live all around the world. I do think we're definitely gonna like plan to meet up again because like we've come become so close. I would love to come back. I'm hoping to spend a gap year in England, come back and see everyone that I've missed over the time. Yeah, that would be great. Like, yeah, I plan to keep in touch. Um, made a lot of friends there. It was good.